Hey everyone, it's Jess and welcome to my kitchen floor. You're probably used to seeing me from counter height, but today we're gonna be on the floor because I've got a very special unboxing. We got this um, Le Creuset cookware set from Max's parents as a belated wedding gift. That was a super awesome and super generous gift from them. And although it is really expensive, I'm really grateful for it because this is an investment. This type of cookware set is truly going to last a lifetime. If they had gotten us like a cheaper set or we stuck with what we had, we would still have to replace it in a couple years. So this is really, really, really worth the investment and I'm very excited. A Le Creuset kitchenware set is something that I've pretty much always wanted because they're really pretty and they're really good quality and you see them all over, but I'd never be able to afford that for us. So I'm really grateful that they decided to gift us this for our wedding. Um, Oh, this is the three piece, well technically it's listed as a five piece, but I consider it to be a three piece because it came with, um, it counts the lids to the pots. I think it's weird. Let me know if you consider the, a pot with a lid a one piece item or a two piece item. Or I guess one item or two items. Because to me, a lid with a pot is only one item. Okay, this box is huge, so let me get this out and readjust. All right, this little box with the handle was inside the larger box. I guess the large one was just for shipping. It was as big as me. Open it up. What's funny is the box actually had a thing saying um, that it was fragile, but I'm like, no, this is like the most sturdy thing ever. So we've got one, this is a little sauce pot. I actually already gave the one that I was using to one of my friends. I just had like a, a no-name stainless steel. We've got the frying pan and the classic ooh, <laughs> Dutch oven. This is kind of a smaller one, but I think it's better for just the two of us because the other giant uh, lodge cast iron pan I have is like a six quart and that is way too big for anything that two people can be eating. Okay, first up is the, I, guess, I don't know what size this is, frying pan. Ooh, I think this is a 10 inch. But yeah, I really like this particular one because it has a spout. Because when I make like a steak or something or any sort of like meat thing, I like to make a pan sauce or just pour the juices on top. And this one has a handle as well as a spout so I can easily pick it up. Uh, another issue with the one that I have is this one's lighter. The one that I have is so heavy that I can't flip stuff and that makes it really hard. Um, so this is a really good size. I think it's the same size. And it's also enameled on one side in this cute blue color because my other pans will accumulate rust if I put them down when they're wet. So this is really great and I'm happy to be using it. I also like that it has a little hook right here so I could potentially like hang it and not have to worry about storage. And then next up is the, I think this is a two quart sauce pot or a sauce pan. I don't know what the difference is. It came a bunch of cardboard. Oh, it has the metal knobs. I actually was not expecting this because most of the um, Le Creuset cookware that you buy, it comes with like this weird plasticky material and people worry about like, oh, is it oven safe? So then they spend an extra $20 each just to replace this knob. So that's great that this set came with the knob. So I was actually thinking, okay, I'm just gonna use whatever plasticky, whatever. It's made of some sort of thermo material that is oven safe, but only up to 400 something degrees. And if you do something like bake bread or um, broil things, you can't be putting that in the oven at that high of a temperature. So I figured, oh, I'll just spend the $20 later to replace the knobs to metal later when the plastic ones had broken. Cause I didn't see the point in buying it right away and then just not using the plastic ones. So I'm really pleasantly surprised that these have the metal knobs. And then the corresponding pot. So again, it has these loops, which I was not fully expecting because some other Le Creuset products um, don't have the handle and it's just the pot and the lid. So like I said, let me know if you consider this to be one item or two. I consider this to be two items. No, wait, no. I consider this to be one item because it goes together. And last but not least, we have the classic Dutch oven. Here's the lid and inside we have the pot. So the pot and the pan have an enamel coating on the inside and the frying pan does not. Um, generally, I prefer things to be unglazed because you get that 
iron in your food, which is good for you, but it is actually much harder to take care of um, because you have to deal with the seasoning and such. But a white enameled is also good because you can see what you're doing and you're less likely to burn your food. So this is great and it's smaller than the one we have. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be giving away our six quart and just using this one or maybe I'll be nesting them or figuring something out for storage, but I think this is a much better size for a smaller family. <laughs> All right, there we have it. Either a three or five piece set, depending whether or not you want to count the lids. I'm gonna not count the lids and call it three pieces. And I just wanted to thank Max's parents for being super thoughtful and generous in getting us this set. It was very um, practical considering this is something that we are going to use all the time instead of just like pretty china cabinet stuff that we're not gonna use. And um, since I am an avid cook, I'm gonna use this literally every day and it's always gonna be out and we're gonna be enjoying it. Um, cast iron cookware really truly lasts a lifetime, if not longer, if you take care of it. There's been instances where people's house have burned down and their cast iron pans were like the only usable thing left. So they are totally salvageable and we will use them for the rest of our lives, if not longer. In addition to that, I also wanted to thank my viewers and my subscribers for following along with me. I've taken a bit of a hiatus from the channel because a lot is going on. We just got married as well as I just wrapped up midterms. So I'm really excited for spring break and all the new fun videos that are coming in the future. Thanks for watching and let's keep on cooking.